They say that Boston is one of the safest cities to live in compared to national trends in other cities across the country. But the mayor admits one person who is affected by gun violence is one too many. Tonight, new video of a brazen daytime shooting in Dorchester. A suspect using a gun to stop a van in the middle of busy Gallivan Boulevard, then opens fire on a car on Dorchester Ave. A truck of firefighters right behind. Then yesterday, also during the day, this man in a red hoodie fires at a group of people in Roxbury. Bystanders running and ducking for cover. Another man appears and returns fire. A young girl running away, trying to avoid the stray bullets. This happening near Ramsey Park and in front of a convenience store. Lucky don't hit anyone else. Our families deserve safety, full stop, no exceptions. This all coming as city leaders unveil their summer safety plans. It's a small percentage of people that typically do the majority or a large portion of the violent crime. According to BPD crime data, shooting victims are down by three compared to this time last year, but homicides are up. If you have a public that doesn't trust the police department, you'll have a public that won't call 911. There'll be no trust and it's very hard to solve crimes without the public's help. The department also outlining plans to get illegal ATVs and dirt bikes off the streets. We have a plan which includes closure, visibility and monitoring. So we are out there. The mayor also added that the city invested $19 million in creating a summer jobs program, Boston's safe summer jobs program here in the city, and that supposedly created 7,000 job opportunities for young people here in the city. We're live in Boston. I'm Peter Eliopoulos, WCVB.